welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my updated everyday makeup routine. I know I haven't made a video in such a long time. I feel like a failure. I told you guys I would stick to a consistent schedule and try to upload as much as possible. I just have been super non-motivated and lazy lately when it comes to YouTube. I've been staying on top of everything else in my life, but YouTube has not been a priority lately, and I'm really sorry. I actually am going to be filming off of my iPhone today, and that's only because I do not have any more storage on my camera. I think this lighting's going to be okay. Don't mind the background. I know that there are several doors open. This is just the best way for me to film, and I am going to be getting a new background soon, so wait on that. I promise you guys better things are in store for my channel, and I will try to be more consistent. I do have a vlog coming up, and that might be uploaded before or after this video. If it is uploaded before, I will post the link down below. Uh, I've already moisturized with the dry skin cream. I've also used the Maybelline Master Prime Hydro and Smooth. And next, we're going to move into foundation. Today, I'm going to be taking the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Monte Blanc. And I think it's a good match for me right now. It doesn't seem to oxidize as much as my other foundations do. So I'm hoping that this one will work out. I've been testing it out for the last week or so, and I'm thoroughly impressed. It looks really nice on my normal to dry skin. So I'm going to be applying that first with a Morphe M439, and then I'm going to go in with a beauty blender to blend it out. First thing that I do have to say about this foundation is it is very lightweight, but it doesn't feel like that on the skin. It doesn't necessarily feel heavy, but it doesn't feel like a super lightweight foundation either. But I really would recommend this for people with normal to dry skin or even dry skin because it really does set well on top of the skin and it doesn't really look dry or cakey either. Um, I do have to say that around my nose and around my mouth, it tends to kind of break up a little bit. But overall, that foundation wears very, very well. Um, and I am going to be blending the majority of this out with the brush, and I just like to do it this way. You don't have to. You can use a sponge if you want, but I am going to be blending out the majority of the product with this brush. Next, I'm going to go in with concealer. I am going to be pairing it with the NARS Radiant Creamy. I don't know how I feel about this one just yet. I feel like it's a little bit too cakey for people with dry under eyes like myself. And it also creases in my chin area. I don't have the best of luck with concealers being kind of thick full coverage just because of my under eye. I have a lot of creasing and my under eye is kind of like one of my biggest insecurities because you know not only is it you know a little bit dark under there I also do have a lot of that creasing so And I'm just going to be applying that in the high points of my face, underneath the eyes, on the chin, and on the forehead. And then I'm going to go in with that Sam D. Epps Beauty Blender and blend everything out. Next step is to set everything. I do not use an all-over face powder. I just use an under-eye brightening powder, and I kind of just set the entire face. So the product that I'm going to be using today is a little bit expensive. It is the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder and Translucent. A good alternative for that would be the Cody Airspun. I do like this one a lot. I just got tired of it and I wanted something new. This one is $7 versus $30. So kind of a big price jump. But I'm going to take that into the back of the container. And then I'm just going to set everything thoroughly with the Beauty Blender. And I'm not really baking, I'm just kind of pressing it into the skin. And I always get the area around my nose and my mouth first, just because those are the areas that crease the fastest. And then of course under my eyes. And I like it because it doesn't have a scent and it sits really nice on top of the skin and it kind of just makes your skin look extra micro smooth, which I appreciate because not all powders do that. And see, I'm not really just baking, I'm kind of just pressing it into the skin, and you can kind of be messy with it, because I am going to be brushing the rest of it away with a, um, kind of like a thinner brush. So I'm going to be taking the Tarte Park Ave Princess palette, I love this. 
For having a thick shade, two of which are highlighting, it's really, really essential to have, and you can carry everything all in one, and you don't even have to worry about carrying separate products. I am going to be going in with the Real Techniques brush. Ooh, there we go. Taking the first two shades in the palette, these two right here, these are the two that I always use. And I'm really just going to be bronzing the skin up around the perimeter of my face. And this is just going to add definition to the skin and it's also going to really warm up the skin. And I just do that all over the perimeter and then down my neck to make sure that everything is the same bronziness. And then it also slims your jawline as well. And for my everyday look, I don't go over the top with bronzer. I do it just enough. So now we're going to go in and blush and highlight. Today for blush, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. I love this stuff. Um, I got it from my birthday kit. It's a really nice, pretty mauve tone shade. And then to highlight, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. Ooh, there we go. And this is in the shade Need Money and Hustle a Baby. So I'm going to be doing that first. And I've been taking my blush in kind of like a V shape recently. Um, I know blush really shouldn't go so close to the under eye, but I just, I like the look that it gives me. It's like a natural, just cute, cheeky kind of shade underneath there. And then I'm going to go in and highlight with my It Cosmetics fan brush. Here we go. Oops. See if you guys can see this right off the bat. It is such a gorgeous glow, and even if it's my everyday look, I am going to be loading up with highlighter because highlighter is just a gift from, you know, the highlighting gods. Cupid's bow. Sorry, my cat's behind the camera right now looking out the window if you heard that down the bridge of my nose. A lot of people don't like highlighting their nose, but I love my nose. Um, I feel like it's just a cute little button, cute little button nose. So I always highlight that in my Cupid's bow. And then of course my cheeks as well. Oops, sorry about that. It's like the highlight is too bright for that camera. Okay, so the face makeup is on now. Next, we're gonna move into brows. I always do the brows before I set the face and until I go into eyeshadow. It's just what I like doing. You can do this completely separate. I'm going to be doing the brows off camera and setting the face, and I will be back to finish with the eyes and the lips. All right, so I'm back. I just put my brows on. That sounds very weird. Um, and then I just sprayed my face with the Mario Badescu spray. And I am blending everything out once more with a damp beauty blender. I think this step is key because not only is it going to absorb the rest of your makeup into the sponge, it's also going to absorb it into your skin. So by applying a setting spray, it's going to lock in your makeup and it's also going to make it last longer. So that's why I like this step and it just helps to blend everything out. So if you have a little bit too much blush or you have way too much highlight, it kind of just makes it look a little bit more natural and from within the skin versus sitting on top of the skin. So every day I normally use my Tarte Raven Bloom palette for my everyday look. It is well loved, especially these shades right here. Today I am going to take the shade Smarty Pants and work that into the crease with a Morphe M433. And I'm just sloppily doing it just because my everyday looks, I don't normally put a lot of effort into it. I just want me to look more awake. And my main focus is brows and skin anyways, so I don't really focus too much on the eyes unless I am making it a statement to focus on the eyes for the day. I'm also going to be jumping into that Jet Setter color, which is right above it. It's a dark brown versus being a warm tone brown, and I'm going to be buffing that into the crease as well to add some definition. Rebel, which is this more warm tone brown. And I usually just put that on the very outer part just to add some dimension. Okay, and then I'm going to be taking the same shadows that I used on the lids to apply underneath the lower lash line. All right, and then I'm going to go in with a nude pencil and line the lower lash line.
So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two lightest shades in the palette and highlight my brow bone just a bit. And then I'm also going to be taking that pencil brush and taking the color Funny Girl, which is the one that I love the most. And I'm going to be popping that in the inner corner. Sometimes I even drag the sparkly shade on the lid as well, but today I just want it in that corner just to open up my eyes even more. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with mascara. Next is going to go into mascara, and today I'm going to be taking a combination of two mascaras. And I'm going to be taking the Essence Volume Stylist and the CoverGirl Lash Blast. I will be back and we will finish the lips. Okay, so now to finish up the look, I am going to be taking the Kat Von D Studded Lip Cream in the shade Lovecraft. I love this for an everyday look. It's kind of like a rosy mauve color and I'm just going to be applying that to the lips. Alright guys, and that concludes my everyday makeup look. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below or at the end of the video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.